Namaste friends let's talk about Arthur Haley everyone knows Arthur Haley he has written so many novels and uh, all best sellers i'm sure you must have read at least one or two books of this famous author he was a british uh, canadian novelist uh, who was born uh, in uh, 1920 if i am not mistaken and he expired somewhere around uh, 2004 but uh, what a novelist let me put out put down some facts about uh, this particular author uh, according to me uh, this is not a fact this is my assumption he is one of the most talented or versatile authors uh, of his time His plot driven stories were set against the backdrop of various industries I mean he has written about various industries uh, and his books are meticulously re- researched and the language that he uses is as if uh, he works in that industry so that the, that's the kind of a research Uh, he used to uh, do before writing his uh, books and uh, uh, his books have sold about uh, 170 million copies uh, in 38 languages but how did he get that get, get into this kind of a position this is obviously because of uh, of uh, his uh, due diligence uh, you will be surprised that before he wrote a novel Haley would usually spend 3 years on a book first he would dedicate a year to research then 6 months he would review his notes and finally 18 months uh, in in the next 18 months he would do his uh, writing and this was a time when we when uh, uh, the computers were not there and i think most of it was uh, uh, hand written or uh, at best uh, through typewriters uh, just to uh, quote an example he read 27 books about hotel industry uh, before he wrote uh, his famous book hotel he spent months at a detroit car plant before uh, he wrote wheels and he spent uh, time at the age of 67 with a rebel group in uh, peru uh, in the jungles of peru uh, for the evening news so that's the kind of uh, research this man used to do before he wrote and I'm, and i'm sure uh, if you have read his book but just in case you have not read uh, arthur haley please uh my suggestion to you is pick up any of his books and uh, just go through it and you will see the beauty of writing and uh, he was very um, very simple about his uh, uh, literary skills and he used to say that i am just um, a storyteller and anything else is just uh, incidental and uh, now Uh, why i say he is a very diversified or a very versatile kind of a writer is because of the following reason uh, a he researched hell of a lot and if you see the spacing uh, between his books is it's almost about 3 to 4 years and then he has taken up uh, different uh, industries i will just take you through uh, his, the list of his books first he started with final diagnosis which is about medicine this book he wrote in 1959 then he uh, came out with another title in uh, uh, called the uh, in high places this was in 1962 it's about a canadian uh, uh, prime minister uh, the politics there and and his career then in 1965 he came out with uh, his famous novel hotel followed by airport in 1968 then he came out with wheels which is about automobile industry in 1971 then he came out with money changers 
in 1975, which is about politics inside a major bank. Then he came out with Overload in 1979. This was about electricity production. Then he came out with Strong Medicine in 1984, which was about pharmaceutical industry. Then he came out with uh, Evening News in 1990, which was about TV and media network and all that. So and last, his last novel was Detective in 1997, which is about a Miami Miami police uh, detective. So if you see the the variety of his uh, writing, it spread spread across. Uh, many industries, and mind you, he was he was not uh, from any business school that he had those insights, uh, automatic insights uh, to simplify his task. He was he was a pilot who had uh, taken a flight lieutenant who had taken retirement, and he had moved out, moved off to Canada from uh, the U.S. Uh, so, friends, today you find uh, many established writers who catch hold of a particular genre. Or or uh, or a theme, and uh, they stick to it, and uh, in that only they either write new books or they come out with sequels. Uh, but uh, Arthur Hilly was not that. He defied himself, and each time he took up a uh, took up something which was which was completely different. And uh, mind you, these those days we did not have Google or uh, computers, and every bit of research. That he did was on his own, and he he spent time, and he energy and money in that, and that's how he got all the detailing. So friends, uh, I definitely would like to call him one of the most uh, versatile uh, story uh, teller uh, th- that the world has produced. And uh, so this is all for today. And uh, if I come across something else. Uh, at another date i'll come back to you till then goodbye thank you